snack dish. Please give him a big round of applause. Okay, are you ready? You will be having six minutes for your pitching yeah. and then six minutes for Q&A. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. Yes, okay, your six minutes starts now. Um, I'm here to show you a uh, food photo app uh, that makes cooking more fun and delicious uh, uh, called Snapdish. Okay. Um, lots of people take photos of their food. Um, a lot of people use Instagram. Um, I've seen a lot of people use it. The problem with Instagram is that it doesn't make your food look good. It looks nice, artsy, but not really good for food. I think that's a problem. <laughs> um, there are tons of food photo apps, I know. Yeah. And you're probably thinking, another food photo app. Um, well, lots of food photo apps, most of them, they're about eating out and eating at restaurants. And, you know, there's, the truth about food is that people cook lots of beautiful food at home. And there's a lot of excitement in that. And we wanted to capture that. Okay. I, I cook a lot of food. And, you know, um, I'm the main cook in my family. And my wife earns more than me, so I'm doing all the housework. And cooking can be, like, tiring and stressful. You know, you got to think of what to make. And, you know, i got a daughter that's complaining about my food. And it can be depressing sometimes. But, you know... That can be changed also, you know? Um, cooking is exciting. And that's why we came up with Snapdish. I'm going to show you the app. Um, once you uh, get it up started, uh, you can take a snap of uh, your food, or you can choose from a camera roll. Um, you can cook your photos, rare, medium, well done. It makes your food look better. You can blur the background, and it makes your food look better. Voila. Okay. So you're ready to post. And so you can go on and share it, make it social. You can tap on the homemade button, name of dish, add category. You can also add recipes um, if you like. And you can also choose Facebook, Twitter, other SNSs to post this. And you tap on the done button and you post. Okay, so Snapdish is also a social network. You can interact with other users. Uh, you can yummy other dishes, uh, yum other people's dishes. Uh, I double tap it and it gives out hearts. You can post comments, you know, uh, be enthusiastic about the food, and you can follow other users. And this is where you kind of interact and, you know, communicate with other users. We also have lots of other windows where you can discover lots of food. You have the feed where you see people's, people you follow, and you can uh, discover recipes, you can look at the popular foods, you can also, like, if, if you don't know who to follow, you can look at the featured users uh, who are really popular in certain genres. Okay, so uh, that's the app. I'm going to uh, introduce you to the team. I'm Hidetaka. How are you? Uh, like I said, I'm a cook. I'm a father. Uh, this is my third startup, natural born entrepreneur, evangelist. I have uh, lots of experience in international business. I've done uh, Thailand, Yemen, Laos, uh, business in Southeast Asia. Uh, Zen Tanada has got the cool name in our company. Uh, he's our founder and CEO, uh, CEO. He used to be a CIO at LiveDoor, which is a very big company, which used to be a very big company in Japan. Uh, they were acquired by a Korean company. Uh, he also founded Seesaw Blog, which is one of the top five uh, blog services in Japan. We have uh, Fumi Kazu, who's our CTO. He's a product guy who's been developing hardware you know, products for uh, uh, the Japanese version of Skype and Eudora. So that's our team. Um, we're growing really steady. Uh, we're, we have about 220,000 downloads now. The last three months have been really spectacular for us. We've been growing really furiously. Um, activity's been really high, so we're really excelling uh, and uh, growing our uh, SNS. Okay, so we're not really, um, we got funded in uh, last December, but uh, we're not really, we don't have a lot of money to throw around. So. We put a lot of effort in public relations. Uh, we've had uh, magazines write about us. Uh, we contact a lot of media. We talk to them a lot. Um, we've been featured on a lot of uh, great uh, magazines like Travel and Leisure, our Food Edition, ABC News. And of course, E27. Jackie App wrote this spectacular review of our app when we did our uh, Android app release uh, about 10 days ago. So yeah, we work hard uh, to get noticed in the media. 
Okay, as far as revenue goes, we work with um, a lot of uh, food and beverage companies in Japan right now. We did a uh, social marketing tie-up with uh, Yamasa, which is a uh, large, it's, it's the second biggest uh, soy sauce company in Japan. We're doing another tie-up again with them uh, very shortly. We're also looking at uh, doing data business, data marketing. Uh, we're selling marketing data to food companies. We're uh, also interested in doing this uh, in Asia, in Singapore. We'd like to partner with uh, people who would be willing to do this. Um, what's fresh? Uh, we just did the Android worldwide release uh, 10 days ago. We added a recipe function about three, four weeks ago. We're getting about 50 posts uh, of recipes per day. Uh, so, yeah, that's going well. Um, Asia is our big focus. We partnered with uh, Renran in April. We announced a partnership, and the announcement came like the day after Facebook, uh, yeah, Facebook um, said they were acquiring uh, Instagram, and Renran shares just popped up 30%, and they were really happy about it. We're well received in Asia. We're also doing a, a cooperation with a Korean partner right now, so we want to expand in Asia. This is our funding status. Uh, we raised in December. We're doing another round uh, this summer. Uh, anyone interested, please come talk to me. I want more partners uh, in Asia, so uh, please come talk to me. Well, That'll right, be it. Thank you very much. All the time that you have Thank you. All right, now feedback and questions from the judges. Six minutes, here we go. What sort of revenue have you got so far from your additional revenue streams? Um, uh, how do you mean? Yeah, the, uh, you had a relationship with the soy sauce brand? Oh, yes. Um, yeah. Paid for or was it? That would be, yeah, they, they paid for it. Uh, it was a sponsorship uh, social campaign uh, in, in, in Japan uh, in the new year. Um, people eat uh, a, food, a food called ozoni, it's like a soup, it's like a, a very traditional thing. Soy sauce is, is a lot, uh, used a lot in this. We did like a, a posting of these uh, dishes for the New Year's. So do you have someone proactively seeking those partnerships? Especially oh yeah, uh, we, we're getting inquiries from large uh, beer companies, uh, ad agencies, major ad agencies like Dentsu and Hakodo that have come for inquiries. We're also doing another soy sauce company. So uh, uh, we're talking to another soy sauce company, so we're getting lots of inquiries from food companies. It's, it's about personal recipes rather than food purchased in restaurants, is that right? Or yeah, that right? well it's not just recipes, it's more about, um, you know, if posting recipes to recipe sites can be like, it's, it's a lot of work, you know, it's not easy to organize a, a well-written recipe, whereas you're, you cook your photo, and you want to you know, show it off to people. It's, it's a lot easier to post a photo of your cooked dish. So it's about the photo. And then if people want to share the recipe, they, they can share the recipe also. So it's more about, it's not really about the recipe, it's about the food and the photo and, and you know, the cooking process and sharing. So is it fair to say it's like a Pinterest for food? Oh yeah, so right, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have good uh, trademark lawyers, or is HP giving you a call? <laughs> <laughs> right now, uh, well, no. Um, actually, we try to look for we, what we do with the, the posts, and if they're not originally from the person that actually cooked them or actually shot them, we take them down. So if someone reports it, that's my photo, we just take it down. Simple as that. Uh, we are photo sharing services, and it's so wonderful. I'm a user. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, there are so many competitors in right. Singapore and in Asia. Mm -hmm. So how do you differentiate yourself for, uh, as a competitor? Uh, like I said, uh, you know, there aren't any photo apps that uh, do home-cooked food. And that's our focus. We're like hardcore. Of course, people do post uh, food. Um, from restaurants, but we kind of think that's secondary. You know, there's not a lot of motivation in uh, food that people prepare, but there's a lot of motivation in sharing food that you cooked. You know, you, you want to show it off. So that's the key difference. We're more focused on home cooked food. And we're not interested in doing, you know, uh, dealing with restaurants. The business, I think it's a great business. Yeah. Uh, can you revisit revenue streams? 
again, just to ensure we have that in detail. Yeah, okay, um, this is a slide. Uh, we're doing social marketing tie-ups. Uh, a, a soy sauce company will, um, will ask our audience to post photos of certain foods. Say if, a, um, say if a spice company is to sponsor a, a curry, curry contest. Take photos of beautiful curry that you cook at home. Um, a spice company can sponsor that. Uh, that's great. Yeah, like that crowdsource component where you can request of, of your users what to... Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, well, we're, we're a smartphone app, so we send notifications to the app, we send email out, and and they're really enthusiastic about that. So, yeah, we got a lot of interest. We did. Uh, do, you, do you have a team that goes after these, these companies? Or, uh, uh, yeah, well, basically, do I do. I, I do a lot of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm the biz dev guy, so I do a lot of it. Yeah. Right. So, to scale that level, you know, do you think you would need to, to build a team to do that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But um, I think it's essential that we talk to like the ad agencies, the guys who are actually in contact with the food companies. We need to go talk to the food companies also to see what they really need before we just do just simply sale pitches to the companies. You know, we want to craft our um, you know advertising products well to the industry. So I think that's very important. Okay. Uh, what would you spend your money on? second round that you're looking for? What's it mainly going to be? Um, well, one thing is that, uh, I don't know how to mention this, but we have this uh, uh, a clone app in Japan <laughs> that's uh, one-fourth or one-fifth the size of us, and they raise a lot of money. And they might just come and just dump that on you know, like reward ads and just lots of downloads. And they might just advertise that to the press. They might even just pay off the press to write about it. We want to guard that. You know, even though we're like a lot more scaled, we, we want to guard that. We want to excel. We want to like just whip Mark their, Mark. yeah, whip their butts and just go ahead and, you know, <laughs> get ahead of the game. And that's what we need, yeah. Well, good luck to you, sir. We wish you all the best. Yeah. to the end of the first part for our startup pitches. All right, after the break, we'll be having five more teams coming up here to show you what they've got. All right, so for now, we have an uh, announcement to make. Okay, during the break, please visit the Amazon Web Services booth because they are having a lucky draw and you can get to win for yourself a gift vouchers worth $100. Okay, so it's simple, just drop your name card at the Amazon Web Services booth, okay? The lucky draw will be held during